We first met when we both worked at Sky Ranch in the summer of 2019. I remember pulling up, I'd never been there before, and I saw a sweet young man in a mint green shirt. Everybody is piled onto big trucks with big trailers on the back to get all of our luggage. We met on that trailer the first time, first day of camp. And I remember calling my mom and saying, there are good guys in the world just by his looks. I just saw it and I was like, man, he's very attractive. Seeing her across that trailer, she was beautiful. That was kind of the first thing I could see. We ended up being in the same age group to be counselors. And so I got to spend a lot of time with him and we were just really good friends. Ever since then, spent the whole summer getting to know each other. Fast forward our sophomore year of college, we kind of kept up and a sweet little boy named John reached out and we were talking about going back to camp. I had a feeling in my stomach. I remember texting some of my good friends and being like, this is just different. I don't know why, like, I feel like I might like him, but I don't know. And about three weeks later, we started dating and I just knew at two weeks we said I love you and I knew he was it for the moment I saw him on the trailer a year and a half earlier. She strives towards being godly, being Christ-like. Her strive to learn more about the Word, learning about Jesus, loving everybody like Jesus would love them. She definitely takes care of me. She's always there if something goes wrong. She's my right hand. She's my best friend. She definitely keeps me in line. And then she just likes to laugh and have fun with me, whether it be we're out going to watch a movie, we're gonna go do whatever, or we're just sitting on the couch, we're always laughing, having fun. So I really like that. We can just kind of sit there and be doing nothing and have a great time. You're beautiful, you're amazing, you're the best daughter in the world. You're gonna be a beautiful bride. So okay, y'all can turn around. Like a princess? I do. Okay, you can turn around. Oh, Lindsay, you look so pretty. So pretty. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my, so good every moment and make sure that you don't let it pass too fast. There might not be a time where we're all together like this again. In reality, this is the only time we'll be together while you're about to get married. You know, so. We're really excited for you. We love tears you. about to flow with you. <laughs> we love you. Beautiful. You look beautiful. His kindness and his ability to never leave the house without a smile on his face. We could have the worst day, we could be in the biggest fight, but regardless, he's always smiling. He always tells me he loves me. And that's probably the biggest thing besides his love for the Lord is the fact that he like pours into me and shows me on a daily basis. He's pursuing me because he loves Jesus and he knows how to love someone because of the way that Christ loves us. I've been praying for my future wife my entire life and seeing more and more than I could have ever imagined every day on a daily basis, it's, it's crazy. John and Lindsay, your journey has finally brought you to this altar. They wanted everybody here to know that Jesus Christ is their Lord, their Savior, he was the foundation of the relationship. He introduced them, and he's going to be the foundation of the marriage. God will bring you together as individuals, as husband and as wife. If you follow him, he will bring you into this union of oneness. And we talked about commitment to the Bible and, and how to seek scripture, because you'll face challenges from time to time, and how you overcome those challenges to this equation of oneness. A wife of noble character, who can find her husband has full confidence in her and lacks nothing of value. And as I pondered the things that you told me and your hopes and your aspirations and your dreams for your marriage, you're going to be a wife of noble character. And it's going to be special and God is going to bless you. Scripture tells us God hears our vows, they are meant to be kept. He intends for us to keep them all the days of our life. John, do you take Lindsay to be your lawfully wedded wife, and do you promise before God and witnesses to love her, to comfort her, to honor her, to cherish her, and to keep her in sickness and health so long as you both shall live? And for 
ever remain faithful to her. I do. Lindsay, do you take John to be your lawfully wedded husband, to love him, to keep him, to honor him, to hold him in sickness and health, and forsaking all others forever be with him? So long as you both shall live. I do. With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. And with all my worldly goods. And with all my worldly goods. I do endow to you. I do endow to you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And the Son. And the Son. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Amen. With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. And with all my worldly goods. And with all my worldly goods. To you I endow. To you I endow. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And the Son. And the Son. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Amen. With all that's taken place today, the presence of God and of the witnesses that are here, and by the power vested in me as a minister of the gospel, I pronounce you husband and wife. John, Mr. and Mrs. John Dixon Jr., you may kiss your bride. You've heard the phrase, they're in a different season of life. It's the first day of spring for you guys. Work hard rely on all these people in this room because they all love you they've all made a special impact in your lives and i'm certain that at any point in time if they needed something every one of you would be there i saw that when i walked in the double doors open today and i saw all these faces and it was a flashback of look at all the people that are here that have made an impact that love you here's to a prosperous and long marriage and may god bless you with the fruits of all the seasons that you have before you. But for those first three years, I really only saw one side of Lindsay, and it looked like this. I knew that Lindsay and I were getting closer when she first talked to me about a boy. So over the next year of John and Lindsay's relationship, I got to hear the good, the great, and the godly about John. We've been waiting for a day like today to give you this. First time I ever was like, whoa, this girl's different. We were driving to go to Freebirds in Tyler, Texas. She was playing music in the car and she played a Toby Keith song. And ever since that moment, I was like, this city girl from Houston is playing Toby Keith in my truck right now. It's like, there's something different about that girl. That was the original moment, but everything she does on a daily basis is that, so. At two weeks, I just knew that I was going to marry him. I didn't want to look at anyone else. I didn't want to see anyone else. I didn't want to talk to anyone else. All I wanted was John. I cried when he left every single time. I cried when he got there every single time. I would smile when his name would pop up on my phone. We would FaceTime for three hours. The first moment I really think I knew was when I cried 
when I saw him again at camp the second summer. And it was just like a flood of emotions, like, why do I feel this way so strongly about someone? And then I think that was God's way of saying, like, this is your person. God is with us.